You're watching News 8. Dr. Jeff Harp from Highland Family Medicine is back with us. Doctor, good morning. Thank you. Talking about the COVID-19 vaccine on the mind of pretty much everybody these days, looks like Pfizer will be the first to have its vaccine approved for use in the U.S. Uh, how does it work? So essentially the Pfizer vaccine is a piece of genetic material called RNA um, that would direct a cell to make spike protein. Everybody knows what spike protein is now, the little things that stick off the COVID virus. Um, and it's this RNA is wrapped in a small layer of fat. Uh, basically, it's injected, it gets taken up by the immune system, and the immune system, actually, those cells are directed to make spike protein. Then they recognize it as foreign and make antibodies so that uh, the body, the next, if it's then exposed to coronavirus, remembers and can attack right away and kill off the virus. How effective is this vaccine? Well, this, the Pfizer vaccine has been tested in about 42,000 people. Uh, they basically gave them the vaccine and saw how many people got the virus. Uh, basically, it's 95% effective. Equally effective in children, older adults, and, and others in that vulnerable group? Right. So uh, the, the vaccine was tested on people age 16 through um, approximately 85. Uh, so... In that age group, it looks like it's equally effective for people over 65, just as much for, as for people under 65. It's been tried in people of different um, genders, different ethnicities, equally effective. People with chronic diseases like diabetes, even HIV, equally effective. It has not been tried on pregnant women or on children under the age of 12. There's a few studies, look, or a few people between 12 and 16. So we can't really say much about children under 16 or pregnant women right now. Hmm. All right, how will it be administered and who will do so? Well, um, it will, it's given by a shot in the arm, just like the flu vaccine, and it needs a booster three weeks later. Um, this Pfizer vaccine has to be stored at a very cold temperature, minus 70 degrees Celsius. So it will only be administered in hospitals. A lot of folks concerned about potential side effects. Should they be concerned? No, there's, uh, this vaccine has been thought to be very safe. 2% of people develop headaches, 4% a little bit of muscle aching, some pain at the site of injection, um, but that's about it. Uh, it doesn't look like it has major side effects. And actually, the older the person, the less side effects they have. Let's talk about immunity. Uh, how long uh, until it produces that immunity? And how long does the immunity last? The immunity occurs within four weeks, probably a little bit sooner. And we don't know how long it lasts because the study has not been, um, wasn't designed to figure out how long it lasts. So, um, it, most experts think we'll probably need a yearly booster, though, uh, so we'll have to wait and see about that. Doctor, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much. Uh, lots of anticipation for this vaccine. Yes. Uh, if you missed any of our conversation, we'll share it online as well at rochesterfirst.com.